Hey, this is Jazzy with ModernHippieMag.com, your online source for hip, healthy, conscious green living. Once again, we're in the kitchen with Natalia of Glowing Temple. This is when we get a look at some, some really amazing raw recipes and see them in action. So, I'm excited because there's just quite a bit. <laughs> yep. Here, what are we making today? We got a lot going on, but don't be overwhelmed. Okay. It's really easy. We're going to do garden herb roll-ups. Garden herb roll-ups. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to make a pumpkin seed pate seasoned with all really nice fresh herbs. We're going to do some marinated veggies and then roll it all up in a big green leaf. Okay. <laughs> so we'll get started with the food processor. And we're going to start with two cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to chop that really quick. Okay. I always like to do the garlic first and separate just to make sure you don't get any big pieces. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> so that's good enough because we're going to add a lot of other things and keep chopping. So a half a cup of Brazil nuts. Love, love Brazil nuts. Ah, yeah. Amazing for their zinc and just, of course, they're just a good nut. And I love them because I didn't have to soak them for the recipe. That's one of the nuts that doesn't have the enzyme inhibitor, so I do tend to kind of favor them. Okay. And <laughs> and you can do nuts right there in the food processor? Yep, and this is going to grind out really nice and smooth. And while I'm processing, I'm going to add the lemon juice and it's going to cream it nice. Okay. And we'll start. It's really loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how much lemon juice is that? That was a half a cup. And when it's nice and creamy, we can start to add the other ingredients. Oh, smell the garlic. Yeah. So I have my pumpkin seeds, and these I actually did soak. I just started this morning. So if you want to make it for dinner, just start in the morning, about four to six hours. And you know, if you're thinking about making it in the morning to bring to work for lunch, just do it overnight. How much are we looking at there? Now? That is one and a half cups. But it really, um, they bulk up when they get in the water. So probably about two cups there now. And then we can add three quarters of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And we're also going to do a quarter cup of olive oil, and it just adds a nice richness to it. Mm -hmm. I always like to get the extra virgin cold pressed. I just think it has the nicest flavor, and of course, cold pressed with it, um, it's raw. Okay. So we'll give that one more process. Great. So it's okay to have some texture left. It's not going to be totally creamy, but that's nice. It's just this is going to be sort of the meat of our wrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> So now I have a quarter cup of each of the herbs, basil, dill, and parsley. And I really packed them in there, so right now they're kind of light and fluffy. Oh, this is good. But a quarter cup of each. And then we're just going to pulse it. So we don't need that to be really, really fine. We just sort of chop them down. Oh, just smell that. My goodness. I'm just so into pâtés right now, you know, I do a lot of salads, but I like something hearty with it. Mm -hmm. Just a scoop of this on top of a salad and you're good to go. Now, usually when I think of pâté, I think it's like smeared and crackers. <laughs> sure. I mean, is that what you can do? You can do it with salad, you can do it with crackers? Definitely, I do. Um, I make flax crackers in my dehydrator and I love to do mm -hmm. a little bit of pâté with tomato or some sprouts or something. Now, how long does something like that keep in the refrigerator? It'll last for a few days, probably three to four. It does have um, fresh herbs that'll kind of, you know, go off a little bit. But with the garlic and the lemon and the salt, it really helps to preserve. Will it separate at all? So you have to remix, um, or does it keep You might want to mix it a little bit. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of the lemon or the water from the pumpkin seeds that they were soaked in. It'll separate a little bit. But very cool. Yeah, it's a really nice thing to add to your raw food repertoire. <laughs> very nice. But of course we're getting fancy today, so not just topping a salad, but we're gonna do now a marinated veggie dish, and you could put really whatever you want in here. I chose what I had. So I have carrots, I have a cup and a half of carrots, two cups of baby spinach, and a quarter cup of sweet onion that I sliced really thin. And if you wanna help me out, if you wanna toss it while I add two tablespoons of olive oil, and I have two teaspoons of lemon juice, And then I'll just do a quarter of 
quarter teaspoon of salt. Oops. <laughs> a little bit for the tea. <laughs> And you can do a little black pepper to taste. Just a little bit. I mean, you could just put any fresh veggies on top of the wrap, but I just like something really, really flavorful. So. I had this for dinner last night. It was oh. Just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really nice and fresh, and you know, for me, I'm all about the colors. I like yes. Colors of bright veggies. Definitely. Oh, that looks great. And then we can let that marinate for a couple of minutes while I show you how to do the collard. So I have one awesome giant collard leaf. That's the largest collard I think I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Well, you should see me at the store. I'm going in and I'm picking and you know, I find the best one. So you can see we have one really nice side and that's gonna be our outside, that's the darker side. And this is gonna be where we put all our filling. So first we get this unwieldy stem off. But I wanted to show you that, you know, this inner stem can be really tough. Mm -hmm. So when I make a wrap, I like to trim it down. Oh, okay. So I'll just come in and use a nice sharp, you know, small knife. And just cut it down right off there. And now you have so much more flexibility. Yeah, I would have been trying to fold it with <laughs> stem in there. Right? Perfect. So it's a good thing. <laughs> See, these are the things I love to be able to show a visual because it's so hard to explain with words. Exactly. <laughs> So then this will serve six people. So if you're gonna serve a bunch of people at once, you wanna have six wraps, but we're just gonna do one today. So I have one collard leaf, and we'll do about six tablespoons of our herb pate. So this is um, actually two tablespoons per scoop. And then I'll usually kinda just favor one side so that we have a lot of nice room to wrap over there. So that looks lovely. And now we can take a half a cup of our veggies, put that right on top. And I really like tomatoes too, and I think they're a little too delicate to do when we're tossing, but I just put them right on top. So if you have about a half of a Roma tomato, it would be perfect. Excellent. Yes. So let's wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> so just like you would a burrito, I usually fold in the bottom and the top, and then start on that sort of heavier side. And then you see we stuff we left this sort of empty. Right. So it has a really nice. Oh wow. That that is gorgeous. <laughs> Yay! I love it. They're so pretty and I love to cut them. They look really nice. I can do a surprise in there. <laughs> so let's see. Just like anywhere you would use a tortilla, you can totally use a collard green. Wow, and that's excellent for lunch, for dinner. Totally, Nice little yep. snack. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's, you can see, you can pack it up. A lot of times I'll wrap them in like a piece of wax paper before I cut it, and that way it'll keep kind of the juices in if you are gonna take it to travel or something. Uh -huh. Yes, but I think you should have a bite right I'm now. I'm thinking <laughs> like right now. <laughs> I know I say this every time, but this is so good. <laughs> Incredibly good. Awesome. It's nutty, but buttery. Mm -hmm. Very creamy. Oh, so tasty. <laughs> Once again, you are so, so in for a treat. This is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna finish this. Thank you for joining us once again for In the Kitchen with Natalia, Blowing Temple, and some amazing, wonderful raw recipes. Thank you. Yeah.